the 11th of August today. Uh, we finished combining our conventional wheat yesterday, which would be the earliest we've ever done that. Uh, so that'll be the 10th of August. Uh, yields are reasonably all right. A little bit disappointing probably on the last one, which was down to poor establishment, but it was dry. I think it got down to about 11.4%, which was too dry. Uh, but we wanted to get it anyway. Uh, so we're just, just fueling up now. Uh, we'll have a go at the organic rye today, which I'll try and film in a bit. Uh, that's on a seed contract. Uh, it looks all right, yeah. Rye never does yield massively, or not organically. Um, but it's a good crop to grow. It has a lot of other advantages. You can graze it with sheep and one thing and another. So I will try and film some of that. Uh, prob one problem we were having yesterday with the combine, just struggling to get chaff out of the sample. Couldn't get enough wind on the sieves, but uh, I took off the discs. Uh, that I have for stopping the straw hitting the ground too hard. Now, I think they were just restricting the airflow out the back of the combine a bit, so once I took them off, uh, it was a lot better. Uh, but I have noticed going downhill steeply, we have a, it was a steep field we were in yesterday. When you're going downhill, the sieves tend to overload with chaff, uh, chaff and straw, and so you need as much wind as you can, and anyway, that seems to sort that out. Anyway, I will uh, film a bit of the rye later on, and then we'll probably cut a bit more silage as well I think so we still have some, of, some more of that to do although with it being to dry the silage isn't yielding uh, massively but anyway can't have everything no drying costs so uh, should be happy see you there you're gonna be ready this afternoon field of rye hell of a view in this field anyway seems I had quite a lot of viewers for my last video so thank you to anyone who did watch it. Uh, can't really work out why I'm sure I've got a lot better videos on there but anyway because Christopher was on there. Anyway we're just about to put the bed on uh, ready to have a go at this organic rye. It's looking good this. It was an interesting crop this. It was uh, direct drilled which is different for uh, an organic crop. So it might, it's always looked well, it might do well, it might not. I'll film a bit when we're uh, combining a bit. So yeah, direct drilled organic crops. Far try it with rye, rye is very competitive, so it tends to get in front of things. Uh, and you can graze it fairly hard as well, so we had the sheep on it fairly hard. I've also understood this is a bit of clover, so I'm hoping there's some grazing pretty much straight behind the combine as well. But we'll see. Right, much as I'd like to film me putting the combine bed on, uh, I'm not going to do because I need both hands and I need full concentration. You can tell it's a dry year. A knife drive here. You normally end up with loads of stuff built up in there and bits of straw and seed heads and stuff like that. And also down in the bottom of those. So everything's running really clean this year. Yeah, it's just because it's so dry. Yeah, you normally end up with a load of slightly damp stuff stuffed in there. And the inside of the combine is running incredibly clean. Uh, we've got to about 800 feet above sea level here, so we do get our fair share of damp mornings and damp evenings. And to be honest, we don't usually combine that much dry, but everything has been so far this year, which is uh, a gift horse not to look in the mouth because uh, the price of fuel this year, I don't want to be drying a lot. So anyway, I'll film a bit more when we get going. I right, can stop looking at the view. It's a big crop anyway, it's certainly tall. I'm struggling to get it all in front of the combine, I don't think it'll yield massively. The straw's got plenty of green in it, so I'm hoping that might make good feed. And there is some clover in the uh, bottom of the stubble, so I'll hope to get some cows and sheep on the air uh, fairly soon. It's been that dry recently, we're uh, short of grazing all over, but. Uh, Down in the bottom there, uh, it'll be very useful this year because uh, I can really do to keep uh, my cattle out as long as possible this winter just because um, we're not going to have too much spare, it's only going to have a lot, not going to have a lot of spare silage and what it'll cost to buy in, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good dry line field, this actually, so and it'll be going in with the spring crop. So, if I can keep some stock out on here for quite a while, it's sort of quite valuable. 
just trying to get me sitting to do the pheasant there. Keep in front of me. Just trying to sort my sample out a bit. It was a bit mucky before. I think I've cleaned it up now. I've shut my sieve down a bit, uh, increased my fan speed. I have got my uh, spreader discs without any veins on, on the back just to try and keep the, uh, keep the straw up out of the stubble a little bit. Uh, I don't think it'll bail, some of it would bail straight behind the combine. Where's a bit of green clover and a bit more ryegrass in the straw. Uh, I think we want some leaving in another couple of days before we bail it. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully all alright, we'll see. Cows there. I'm going to clear the field so we'll let them in. By the art content. Autumn carving ones, those. They've got any cows with them at the moment. But, um, if, you, uh, if you walk through them at the moment, you can't even get them to move. They're so relaxed and playful. Just sit there happily all day. The only not since we got them all in our own bag. Good to see them. We'll enjoy it here when they get them, especially because they're really good as well. I could do with someone here to film the combine going from outside, but uh, it's a fairly tall crop. Quite pleased as well because uh, this clover's grown in the bottom as well. That's good. You can see the grains in there. Threshing fairly easily, it tends to thresh fairly cleanly, does rye. It's uh, getting them all out of the seed heads. Not leaving anything behind, and uh, I always like to check going uh, where the combine's going uphill and downhill because sometimes it's a bit of a difference. You would expect it to throw it over going uphill, but sometimes it is actually when you're going downhill that does it. Seems all right. I can't get my reel any higher, and it's just uh, wrapping up with a bit of rye. There's the rye there. Nice looking stuff, actually. Sample was a bit dirty when I first started, but um, it's good now. Right, I'll bash on. I'm relatively pleased. Uh, it hasn't yielded massively this rye. It's done, I don't know, somewhere between a ton and a ton and a half to the acre. It's fairly heavy stuff off from rye, actually. Stop a look at it. <coughs> but it's really heavy. Actually, I don't know what you see in there. There's quite a bit of clover seed in there again. See those little yellow seeds? It's a clover seed. I would like to grow some seed. Clover seed. I don't know if I've got time to dress it out or not. The cleaner we've got will take that clover seed out quite well if we want, but you can see there's quite a bit in there. But clover seed is very valuable per ton. There were some wild oats growing in here as well. But I can't see. There's one there. I think the cleaner will take them out as well, anyway. Anyway, it's nice stuff. I do like rye. 